Do you think that everything related to the pick has been invented? You are wrong. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our super best I'm wearing a white t-shirt for the first time in 40 years test location in the southwest of England. So today what we're going to do is talk about a pick that has come to me from the United States and it's recently been featured in a couple of magazines. I got speaking to the CEO of the company and he's very kindly sent me through the attack pick. So what is the acoustic attack? Well, this comes in two different versions. It is uh, injection molded out of nylon. And what you'll be able to see in the close-up is the fact that this is relatively circular at the top, but it's got this long sort of drip bit at the bottom and these crazy big uh, sort of lumpy things. Now, you've got essentially quite a thin flexible plectrum here. The raised sections at the bottom are clocking in the sort of two mil area. The grip on this is shaped like a fingerprint. Really, really good, really good. The best way for me to show what this does is I'm gonna use the fairest test possible. This is a Dunlop 73. We all know what this is. We all know how it sounds. I'm gonna take a completely ordinary acoustic and I'm gonna play the same chords on it back to back and see if you can hear the difference. So let's do the thing. I get alerts on my phone all the time about pick news because how would I do this channel otherwise? I spoke to Michael about this. He was very confident in his product, which is a good sign. You should be. If you're not into your own band, why are you doing it? But I was initially very skeptical about the feel of this because obviously you've got these wee lumps and you can hear that and the extra scrape, right? Which does go away after a couple of plays because these are made of nylon. But, so what's happening is each one of those little lumps is hitting the string, each of the strings, a fraction of a second after the leading edge hits the string. And what you get is this extra harmonic content. The only way I can describe it, it's like on your normal acoustic, you've kind of got like half a 12 string on top. If you're doing rhythm work, or if you're playing like a strummed chord section, I don't have, there's over 2000 picks in here. There's no way that I can get that sound out of an acoustic with anything else I own. It just isn't there. It doesn't, it, it, I, I can't stress this enough. I'm not saying that everyone will get on with this. I would ne I'd never say that with any of the picks that we cover here, but honestly, for the money that these are, if you don't try them, you're mad, mad, mad as a March here. It's brighter, it's more alive, and there's this sparkle over the top. I understand, normally this is a bit too flexible for me, it's very bendy, but I think given what it's trying to accomplish, I completely get it. So what I would recommend is go and try these out. If you don't get on with them, you don't get on with them. But if you're playing rhythm in a band, this is like you plus another 20%. Comfortably. What will come after this, because I know that they've got a bunch of models that they're going to release in due course. What will come after this will be really interesting. Because it is bold to step into this trade with that sort of design because so many players, they're so wedded to their Jazz 3 or their Tortex 351s, whatever, and I completely understand that. It's like playing a particular brand of string, it's like using a particular drive pedal, it makes total sense to me. But if you start looking at plectrums as tools, as a, as a set of tools for accomplishing the tones that you want to have, you need one of these. End of story. You need it. So, there. So I hope you enjoyed this little synopsis on the acoustic attack pick. If you would like any more information, I have left the link down in the description. And if you would like to ask me any more about them, you are welcome to do so. You can head over to uh, heavyrepping.com 
you can hit me up at heavy repping on the socials and give us a shout you can go over to the patreon and chuck a bit of wedge at the channel if you fancy it will all go back into the channel and you get your name mentioned at the end of the video you're welcome in the meantime my name is john tron davidson this is heavy repping and i shall see you soon so just remember if you're not sure what to do in life rep hard and rep heavy